video, we'll be seeing, well, yeah, how to start with a telescope. And, uh, well, uh, I'm going to be using a made Infinity 50mm. So first, how to set up. So, uh, yeah, I'm using a made Infinity 50mm telescope. And normally, this comes with a tripod. So first, you extend the tripod. What I do is that first, I put the height of my tripod just by snapping this out. And like, if I wanted at this height, just like that, every, yeah. Then the tripod, yeah. Then you might also have, oh no, sorry. I also forgot that normally it also comes with something like that. It depends on, on the telescope, but with mine, I have to turn the screw and then just put this like that. And here you, 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 you can put things. So now this is my telescope. The, well, the telescope where, yeah, you observe. Now, what you do when you observe with a telescope is that you must never observe the sun because, I mean, it's even written here because it creates some problems. Well, then, yeah, you turn the screw and, uh, and when you use your telescope, remember uh, to take the lid off and when you, well, well, when you don't use it anymore, just put, put the lid back, lid back on. So now, this is uh, well, what you really need for observing. Now, let's take a look into the oculars. So we have three oculars. One, four, cent, four millimeters is the best one. I mean, yeah. Then we have one of 12 millimeters and one of 20. So the smaller the number is, the most, um, the stronger it is. Like the four millimeter can see very far. 12 less and the least is the 20. Yeah. My telescope also comes with a borrow lens, which I mean, puts two times more, and this diagonal mirror that I use a lot, actually every time I observe. So uh, now, uh, to observe, you first have to take the lid off, let's put it here, and I usually always observe with my diagonal mirror. It's a lot better. So we turn the screws, you see, and then just put the diagonal mirror. Then just tighten the screws. There are a lot of lids. I have to be also careful. And then I usually go with the 12 to observe things in the sky like birds or just to spy your neighbor. If you want to spy your neighbor, the 12 is the best. Because the 4... Oh yeah, and also um, if you use, for example, the 4 millimeter, I, I, I don't know if you have a different telescope, but uh the smaller number the smaller number it's stronger but it also emits less light so and then just start observing oh yeah sorry i didn't take this lid off yeah oh and like for example Yesterday, for uh, I, I was observing Jupiter, for example. And uh, what I did is that I did from bigger to smaller. Like first I went with the 20 millimeter to find Jupiter, then with the 12, and then with the four millimeter. 
And now, I'll teach you how to align the finder to your telescope. So, the finder is a, a piece that has that, yeah, it's like, like the name says, says it, says it, it's to find things. Uh, and I use it to, to try to find planets or stars, whatever. And, um, well, first, what they do is that use use a, a ocular that is not very that is not very uh, strong and then use it on an object like a tree or a telephone pole something like that and then try and r remember that object must be an object that you can see well and that is not too far because you'll have to find it with your finder just tightening in the screws and yeah doing it like that oh and I have to tell you if you see the finder is actually backwards everything that you see on the finder is actually backwards which is kind of a problem. Uh, so now we advanced because I mean uh, the screws were taking some time. So then uh, what I do, if you can see here, I actually uh, put the, these screws, I, I put them to a degree like that they are more aligned, but I just use the finder to focus myself on something, but and then just try to find it with the telescope. So hope I oh yeah, and also everybody has a a, a different kind of eye. So this is that's why there is this. Depending on the telescope, it has a different form and different type. But well, you just turn it around until you see the image clearly. Okay, uh, see you and hope now you know more things about telescopes. See you. And subscribe only if you want.